So what we ended up seeing to mark the Queen's 90th birthday literally just fell out of your mouth in a moment of what, panic? But they were quite good, some of the ideas, until the point where I passed the front window and I went, and the stage should be there, <laughs> and pointed at the uh, cenotaph. And that's where the gig ended up. Wow. Yeah. We were the biggest band in the world at that point. You were? Um, it was nuts, wasn't it? And it was cool. You know, we were kind of going on Letterman and singing, and it was just brilliant. The world was your oyster. Yeah, and then things like Patience, where without that song, I don't know if I don't know what would have happened after that, really. But I remember being stood out the front and I was singing, and I just thought, oh, I love singing. I forgot how much I love singing. <laughs> it was that. Sometimes it's that simple. Yeah. Howard put his foot on my, and he just slipped through it. <gasps> and Howard flipped over, and he stood up, and one of his fingers was pointing the other way. Whoa. Yeah. Go on. So we're all at the front, like. It only takes a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you stay away from the dance moves as if possible, yeah? It's dangerous for everyone <laughs> involved. Especially at our age. I don't think Mark's haven't ever forgiven himself for that. Does he carry it with him? Always. Terrible Still guilt. apologising for it. You know Mark. <laughs> he apologises for walking in a room. <laughs> <laughs>